Hi, I'm Nate, and I'm going to attempt to make a series of videos to show you how to do a stained glass project. It's basically I'm going to show you some like basic fundamental steps how you do things and and uh, kind of the things you need to get started. Uh, I, I recommend everybody take a like a class at a community college, just like an evening class or whatever. Or uh, sometimes the art studios, um, art centers, they they'll put them on. Uh, you're going to learn a lot from somebody walking around the room and showing you what to do and how to cut and how to foil and how to came, you know, things like that. Uh, once you get once you get through that course, then you can just kind of go off and and you know adapt your own ways of doing things and you know. But it's nice to have that that foundation. Anyways, this uh, video I'm just going to show you how to you know basically what you're going to need. I'm going to make something that looks something similar to this. Like I got the rose off of the internet and then I drew my own stem and put my own leaves in there and. Uh, Put this around this border. You can, you can use a PowerPoint or paint or something like that. And then you put it on a, a Word document and print it out. And then uh, I made the frame as well. Uh, you can see the back side of it. You just uh, well, I'll get into that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll have some videos on how to make a, a frame as well. So um, I'm just going to get started here. And I talked about the pattern. Uh, I, I made I print out three of my patterns. These are 11 by 17 paper. I, this is something, uh, this could be another rose. It looks similar to that, but uh, it's totally different. Um, my sister-in-law grew this rose in her garden. She sent me a picture, said, hey, can you make it? And I put it on a computer and drew these lines in where the petals met and uh, modified it a little bit to make it so that you could actually do it. Uh, then I number them so that when I, when I'm, this first piece I'm gonna cut apart, like a little jigsaw puzzle, and as I cut them, I'll put them on a part that one of them I'm not going to cut up, so I can just I won't lose track of what piece goes where. As you can see, these pieces are it'd be a nightmare if I drop these or you know I couldn't figure out where they went. Uh, so you get you get your pattern picked out, then you get you know you lay out your pattern. You and the next thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to cut that out, and then you're going to take those and you're going to you're going to glue them the little the pieces on. The, the, the rose part is going to be this yellow glass, and I have a I have a light table. I'll show you in one of the videos how I put this on a light table that I made. It's it cost a couple, a few bucks to make it. Um, but that way, when it, it you can see how the light comes through it, and you can see the grain in the glass, like the petals. You know, you can imagine if they flowed this way, then the grain would want to go that way. So we'll be putting the well, we're going to be gluing those those pieces with just regular old rubber cement. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna stop there and I'm gonna go to the next video. We're gonna I'm gonna start cutting out this this pattern and uh, it, it won't be very long but I'll show you how how you do it and then how you put it over on the other one. Alright thanks.